Hi everyone, in this video, we're gonna talk through everything you need to know about Shopify Lite. I'm Jason Miles and this is Kyle Hamer. Hey Kyle. Hey. Are you ready to dive into this fun topic? I am ready, yeah. I mean, when we're talking with our coaching clients, one of the questions that they often have is, oh, what if I already have a pre-existing blog or already have a website and I wanna get into e-commerce, I wanna use Shopify, which Shopify version should I choose? What should I pick? And that's the topic that we're going to talk about in this video because Shopify has two basic versions. They have more than one, but uh, there's Shopify Lite, which is the cheapest plan. And we want to weigh out the pros and cons today. All right. So tell us more about Shopify Lite. What is it just at the top level difference between their general basic plan, you could call it, versus Shopify Lite? What's the differentiation? Yeah, for sure. The biggest difference is with Shopify Lite, you don't have a freestanding website hosted by Shopify. Okay. So in the normal Shopify plan, you get a website with a domain and all the fun things that come along with having your own website. On the Shopify Lite plan, you don't get that. What you do get is your buy buttons that you can create for products. So with Shopify Lite, you get the back end dashboard inventory, you can upload your products, you can have everything set. And then you can create a, a channel called a buy button that you can put on a WordPress site, a Squarespace, Tumblr, anywhere that you can basically embed HTML, you can include that, that uh, buy button. It also gives you an embedded shopping cart. So instead of, of creating a brand new website, if you already have a pre-existing blog that's getting a ton of traffic and you're just looking to set up your e-commerce, Shopify Lite lets you embed that, have the checkout, have your all of your shopping cart right there on your WordPress or Tumblr or, or Squarespace. Okay, so let's talk about the use case for this uh, for a moment. Like, wh why would people want to use Shopify Lite versus the Shopify basic plan. Um, and then let's talk about price points after that. But what's the main use for this uh, Shopify Lite tool? Yeah, the biggest use is just it's quick and easy to get set up. So if you already have something and you want to test some e-commerce, uh, if you want to drop ship, I mean, that's a often a question. Can you drop ship with, with uh, Shopify Lite? And the answer is yes. Um, if you can do whatever you want to do in terms of your products and shipping that out, it's basically just the front end sales channels that you're controlling with Shopify Lite. So it's really quick to set up. It's it's cheap, which we'll talk go into pricing in just a second. Yeah. Um, and it's easy to scale. It supports multiple payments like PayPal and the Shopify payment platform. Okay. It also allows you to connect directly into Facebook. So you can use that as a sales channel as well. Okay. I'd imagine the other reason people might be in, interested in this option is if you don't need a website to sell, so what are use cases where you don't need a website to sell? Well, you might work in um, farmer's market or have what, you know, point of sale system that you want to empower. So a POS system where you just are taking uh, transactions over your phone or a card reader kind of situation. Mm -hmm. um, brick and mortar retailers that want to have an online inventory where they can quickly do POS and have the inventory in stock and tracked in a database. This will be an ideal use case. I mean, like if you're a retailer and you're like, I need to get automated with all of my inventory and point of sale transactions, Shopify could easily empower that with this plan and you don't even need a website. Um, and then of course you could graduate to having a website. Um, and once you've gotten yourself established, um, is that kind of the right idea? Yeah, absolutely. It's an easy upgrade. So you can just upgrade right to Shopify Lite, Shopify Basic and go from there for sure. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Okay, so let's talk about price points. Um, how much does it cost and how does that compare to the other options? Yeah, it's it's the cheapest version that they have. So Shopify Lite's $9 a month and then you factor in your transaction fees. Okay. So 2.9% plus 30%. It's a little bit cheaper if you're doing in-person using their their card reader uh, and their app to, to run that. So, but that those are your fees. And I mean, that's how much it's gonna cost. Okay, so $9 a month is a flat rate. And then if people are brand new to Shopify or to e-commerce, they might not be familiar with the transaction fees issues and it can sound scary. So let's talk through those a little bit. So whenever you transact online, you have a service provider that's enabling that transaction. PayPal is the mm -hmm. probably most common. Um, yeah. And then Shopify is also a payment gateway service provider. And so um, the mathematics for the transactions are basically the same Shopify versus uh, PayPal. And that's 2.9% of the transaction plus 30 cents. And it's very common mathematics. Now, if you start to really get to scale, 
in terms of the transaction volume, you can actually negotiate down or they have tiered drop downs where it gets cheaper and cheaper. Um, I think right now we're at 2.1% uh, plus 30 cents. So the bigger you get in the universe, the more you have kind of negotiation power with those transaction mm -hmm. providers. But that's the way it works. So you can just do some math and, you know, on a, a $10 sale, you could figure out, okay, 2.9% uh, plus 30 cents. And you kind of, you know, um, figure out how it would um, affect you financially to sell through Shopify. Yeah. Any other components of that that I uh, didn't explain? Any thoughts on transaction fees? It's going to be the nature of doing business. You just have to factor it into your, your cost structure and go from there. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, what else do we need to talk about on this one before we uh, wrap up? One other question about Shopify Lite that often comes up is what about all Shopify's apps? Because mm -hmm. Shopify has a really robust app marketplace that increases functionality and enhances a lot of things that you do. And the answer to that question, can you use apps for Shopify Lite is yes, you can. Oh. However, most of those apps are going to be designed for full websites. And mm -hmm. in some cases, the cost of the app would be more than your $9 a month hosting. So if mm -hmm. you're trying to save money and be really, really light in expenditures, using apps for your Shopify lights, probably not going to make a lot of sense. Okay. So that's a good point. So let's just enhance that for a moment. So people who aren't familiar, you have, I would agree, probably 90% of apps are forward facing like website mm. facing apps but there are some that are valuable that are not forward facing. Sure. So a few that come to my mind, for example, would be like tax jar mm -hmm. uh, to sort out your sales tax um, sure. uh, 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 payments uh, yep. very simply and keeping track of all that. Um, any, what, what other, uh, would you back in station. analytics maybe? Or, or sorry, like go a ahead. Shipping, a shipping or inventory, if you mm -hmm. have physical products, you know, managing your inventory through ShipStation, multiple shipping would be the way to, that you would, an app that you would use. Yeah, so ShipStation is really super powerful, and you would log into that on a different you know, on a website, ShipStation website, mm -hmm. and then you could be selling. So, for example, if you wanted to sell a lot in person, yeah. um, and then you, you know you would say, "Hey, I'll, I'm happy to send this to you." That would be incredibly yeah. valuable for a retailer who's, for example, in maybe a touristy destination, for sure, like tourist markets, that kind of mm -hmm. thing. Like, "Hey, buy it, and I'll ship it out today, this afternoon. It'll go out in the mail for you." And then you take the order. Um, you know, through the front end tool, and mm. then you would, um, you'd be able to ship it to the people. So that's an interesting yeah. use case. Yeah. And it, you're also tracking your, all your inventory. Cause if, mm -hmm. what are you, what are you selling in person versus what's going through the website or, or the buy box or on Facebook. Yep. And so you want to be able to track your inventory. So that'd be a tool that you could use for it. And Absolutely. also a ship station, at least that's also $9 a month at their base plan. So mm -hmm. I think you can do 50 orders a month at that and then it gradually starts to bump up from there. I love that. That's a great, great suggestion. So there is a use case for Shopify Lite. Now, there but is. if you're a small business um, looking to get into e-commerce, the other option is the basic plan for Shopify, mm -hmm. which is $29 a month currently as we record this video. Right. Um, the, the basic plan has a good use case and the basic plan versus the more premium plan, which is $79 a month is maybe a, a different video we could get into, but it would for, be, it'd be a good video. Yeah. Yeah. For this case, let's just say these are some tips and ideas for Shopify light. We'll have a link underneath this video for the, uh, the sign up to Shopify light, because to be uh -huh. honest, they don't even market it that aggressively. Like in their pricing no. plans table, they don't even show Shopify light except down in the bottom, like with a little link, like, do you want a $9 service? <laughs> like, exactly. They're very smart. They, they, want, they don't want to highlight their cheapest plan. Right. Yep. Well, this is fantastic info. Thanks for putting this together for us. And if you've liked this video, then we'd love to have you follow our uh, YouTube channel and follow mm -hmm. us on the socials, you know, Facebook and the Instagram, that kind of thing. We'd also love to um, connect with you if you're interested in e-commerce uh, coaching. Kyle and I do coaching one-on-one -on -one with people, and we also have a small group that we'd love to um, tell you more about. And you can find out more about that at winningonshopify.com. And uh, we'd love to connect with you. And that way there's an application process for our coaching. We don't work with everyone. It has to be a good fit for you and a good fit for us. And so we have an application process we work through for that. So with that said, let's wrap it up here. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today, Kyle. Yeah, absolutely. It was fun.